here with uh, midfielder Kyle Becker. The dates of the CPL finals were announced uh, yesterday with uh, Forge hosting leg one at Tim Hortons Field. Can you already envision a packed crowd just like we had at the inaugural game? Yeah, obviously uh, we think our fans are going to be uh, great in supporting us, but that's not our concern right now. We have a, a few more games to go and we're taking it day by day and, and game by game until we get to that point. You're the captain of seven clubs. What's it been like for you pioneering this thing and being part of the leadership group? as uh, one of the foundational signings. Yeah, it's been good. I think we have a, a great group of guys. We have a, a few guys who could step into that role at any given time, which has been great. Uh, I think it makes my life easier. And uh, I think we have a, a good a good group of guys here. I mean, it's uh, a mixed bag. We have uh, all kinds of different experience, younger guys who've played in, uh, in higher levels and guys from overseas, which has been a, a good mixed match of uh, players. So I think it's uh, overall, we're very positive about how it's, how it's gone up until this point. You have 10 caps for the national team. Obviously, seeing Carducci and uh, Didic from Edmonton and Calgary has to be an approval that the league has quality and that even if it is just in year one. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's uh, it's good for those guys. I think it's a credit to, to what they've done this season. And it's I think it's great that uh, the head coach is looking into this league for, for talent. I think we have a lot of a lot of talent, a lot of young kids who can uh, go on and do great things in their career. So it's, uh, it's nice to see that it's a possibility to, to make that step. Let's talk a little bit about uh, CONCACAF League. I thought you guys did very well as everyone else in the league followed uh, the results. You guys overcame Antigua of Guatemala and fell short against Olympia of uh, Honduras. Even though it was the first time international competitions, how did you see it through and uh, maybe next time we can make it further? Yeah, I think it's great. I think we have uh, a lot to be proud of from those uh, those games and those competitions. I mean, uh, the guys did great. It's it's something you need to get that experience in and keep going. I think we did uh, fantastic to go down to Guatemala and get that, that result uh, on the road there in a tough place to play. So it's, uh, it's great for these guys who've never been in that competition and, and get to see that and kind of take it with them going forward. Could we see maybe the CPL be top three, top five uh, within our own region? I think obviously that has to be that has to be the goal, but I think that's that's down the road. I think uh, it's been fantastic in the first year so far, so we just got to keep building, uh, building like that. I think uh, the support throughout the league has been fantastic from the fans. So, so again, that's uh, that's amazing. It's a it's a credit to, to everyone who's come out and, and watches these games and supports uh, supports week in and week out. And I think uh, people have been surprised with uh, the play on the field as well. So it's it's good. I think we just got to keep building, take that into to next year as well, and keep growing the league and uh, keep showcasing the talent we have here in Canada. Not the run you guys wanted in a Canadian Championship. Something you're, I'm sure, you're keen to improve next year. Yeah, it was a, a tough battle against Calvary there in the in the home and away. It was early in the season. I think uh, we still had a lot to uh, a lot to learn. It was kind of the first uh, taste of that competition some of our team has had in in dealing with a home and away. So, but again, it was again it was a great experience. Um, obviously, something we want to build on. Uh, I think something we were disappointed in. I think we have a group who wants to go in and win every game we play. So. We just got to take it in stride and, and use it as a learning experience. What it's like to, to play so many games in such a short period of time where maybe in other leagues around the world, it's not like that. It's, it's very spaced out. But because of the CONCACAF League, there were, had to be some schedule changes. Yeah, I think uh, we had a pretty condensed uh, schedule there for a bit, and now we'll, we'll see it again for the, the remainder of this season. But as a player, you want to be playing games. You want to play as many games as possible. And, and with such a, a young roster, it's great for these guys to be getting all this exposure and, and playing constant minutes and, and being, uh, being counted on from the coaching staff and players within the team. So I think uh, not too many guys are complaining too much about that. Kyle, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.